Hello, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me today. Well, the recent media attention to the ups and downs of the stock market reminded me of a piece of advice that I heard a few years ago. John Mellencamp, who's manager of the Mellencamp Fund, was one of the speakers at the Financial Planning Association's retreat in, 19, or in 2004. He suggested a simple way to reduce the overall volatility of any portfolio. Don't price it so often. Now, over the last few weeks, a good many investors have opened their account statements to find that their retirement nest eggs were worth a lot less than they had been the month before. This really isn't an enjoyable experience. Those who could read the numbers and still maintain their serenity were probably practicing a useful strategy for investors that I call fuzzy thinking. Now, fuzziness and finances don't seem like an approach a numbers guy like myself would promote. Investment advisors and financial planners are always urging clients to accept the reality of those statements and other financial facts that define their assets and liabilities. After all, financial statements deliver hard, cold facts. Those numbers at the bottom really do represent reality. Well, that's true and it's not true. It's true the number at the bottom of a monthly statement shows the precise value of that account at that moment on that given day. At the same time though, it's important to understand that the numbers represent just one point on a scale that is constantly fluctuating. This is why planners keep reminding clients about standard deviation. It's one of those terms that financial advisors use as a matter of course, and it's also a term that can instantly make clients' eyes glaze over, especially those who uh, have less than fond memories of algebra, calculus, or statistics. A standard deviation describes the amount that the value of an investment can be reasonably expected to fluctuate over time. It does have a precise math mathematical formula, which for most investors is re really uh, just completely beside the point. The point is it's probably helpful to think about standard deviation in a more right brain way, which it just simply means more or less. Now let's say your investment investment portfolio showed a balance at the end of the month, say, of a million fifty thousand dollars, and that this month's balance, say, was a million. Now you could read that statement uh, that would uh, lead you to focus on the fact you're worth fifty thousand dollars less this month than last month. Five percent fluctuation in the course of a month is pretty significant. Yet, both those numbers are comfortably within the range of the standard deviation for a diversified portfolio. Each of them can, and should, be read as one million dollars more or less. This is where fuzzing thinking can really be use useful if your net worth is not a fixed precise number. It's an approximation that values over, uh, that, that fluctuates over time within a range it can be wider or narrower depending on how much risk that you take with your investments. This is why a chart showing the value of a portfolio over time isn't a straight line but it zigzags up and down. If a uh, portfolio is well managed, of course, those zigzagging lines are going to gradually climb. The investments will increase in value from their starting point despite the ups and downs along the way. If you want to compare this month's statement amount then it's better to compare it to the statement from a year ago, or two years ago, or three years ago, or five years ago, than the statement from last month or last quarter. Comparing your account balance to what you started with, rather than what you had last month, gives you a more accurate snapshot of really what's going on and your real true value. Or even better, take John Mellencamp's advice and don't uh, focus too much on this month's bottom line. When you consider your net worth, just remember to add the phrase, more or less. Not only will you demonstrate your understanding of standard deviation, but you'll probably sleep better as well. Thanks for joining me.